Tomorrow, the Tulsa City Council will discuss a measure to give home buyers tax breaks to relocate to downtown Tulsa. Two News reporter Casey Roebuck joins us live tonight with the details. Casey? Well, right now, 30% of the buildings in downtown Tulsa are vacant. One developer says the key to revitalizing Tulsa is to make it a place where people want to live. But he says it's going to take incentives for most people to want to take that leap. Downtown Tulsa is filled with Art Deco and Gothic reminders of Tulsa's success during the oil boom of the 1920s. But nearly a century later, many of these icons sit vacant. It's really driven by the market. And what we're trying to do is drive them into these historic buildings and bring them back before we tear down our pyramids. Jim Hawkins believes in the revitalization of downtown Tulsa. He's in the midst of turning this historical building at 6th and Cincinnati into a project called 119 Downtown. These residences will be sold, not rented. It's a first for downtown, and Hawkins says people need a reason to try something new. You don't have that many tools, and one of the tools you can use is the property tax. He's asking the city council to approve a measure that would allow residents of 119 downtown to not pay property taxes for the first six years. During that time, the city would forego $72,000 in taxes, but then collect $314,000 every year thereafter. Hawkins says if it attracts people to his building, it could do the same for other downtown developers as well. This could be the, really the first step from taking it from lab to field trial of turning of bringing back downtown. It's an idea that's endorsed in the Planet Tulsa Comprehensive Plan, and that's why City Councilor Maria Barnes believes it will benefit her district. We need to help sometimes help the developers, the builders, with some things to help our city, help our neighborhoods, and this is one of those items for downtown. I think it's really good. And the council will discuss this issue in committee tomorrow. It could be placed on the council agenda for a vote later on. Live in downtown, Casey Roebuck, 2 News works for you.